to make order quantity EOQ model with uh, plant shortages or back order and we are instantly in supply. Here Q represents the order size. This uh, horizontal line drawn through this one represents the shortage level S. I represents the inventory level. I plus S is equals to Q. So order size is Q equals to inventory plus shortage. This triangle ABC represents the inventory for period T1. So this is period T1. So triangle ABC represents inventory for period T1. Triangle CEF represents the shortage for period T2. So this is period T2. T1 plus T2 is one cycle period. At point C, the stock order is zero, but we are not placed any order. We continue to go to the point E. As we move from C to E, the stock, there is a shortage is used and at point E, we will place the order so that we suddenly receive the amount uh, inventory equal to Q and we are again uh, inventory equals to I minus I equals to Q minus S. From C to E, from C to E, the stock falls, allow for back order at this point E and the order is placed. Suddenly we received an uh, Suddenly we receive the quantity equal to Q and we meet both S and I because Q is equal to I plus S. Instantly receive the quantity Q, this will fill with the back, back order quantity and the inventory that is Q equal to I minus S. The cycle has two parts, one is T1 and one is T2 that is BC and CF. For BC that is during time T1 we, where we have hold the inventory equals to I and during time CF we are using a back order that is a shortage for time T2. If D is the demand and Q is the maximum, uh, maximum order quantity, then we have number of cycles, number of orders per year is demand upon Q. If CO is the ordering cost, so order, annual order cost will be D into CO divided by Q, where Q is the order size, D is the demand and CO is the order cost. For time T1, we have I, I, I inventory and for time T2, we have zero inventory. So average inventory will be, the average inventory will be the area of this triangle that is half I into T1. There is no inventory on the part T2, so this will be equals to zero. And this is consumed in the cycle period T1 plus T2, so we'll divide this by T1 plus T2. So average inventory cost is average inventory multiplied by holding cost. Average inventory is half I T1 plus T1 upon T1 plus T2 multiplied by holding cost CH. Let's say equation number 2. Similarly, we'll calculate the average shortage, average shortage and shortage cost. For time T1, there is no shortage and for T2, the shortage is S. So we can calculate the average shortage. During T1, there is zero shortage and during T2 is the area of this triangle is 1 by 2 into S into T2 over a cycle period is T1 plus T2. If the CS is the shortage cost, then the total shortage cost will be equal to average shortage multiplied by CS. The average shortage cost will be 1 by 2, 1 by 2 S into T2 upon T1 plus T2 multiplied by CS called as shortage cost. This is a uh, order size is Q, I is inventory, S is shortage. So I can write I is equals to Q minus S. We want to replace this T1 upon T1 plus T2 or T2 upon T1 plus T2. For this purpose, I will take Consider triangle ABC and triangle ADE, they are the similar triangles, so their side must also be proportional. So this side is Q minus S, this is T1, so total side is Q, this total is Q and divided by T1 plus T2. So Q minus S upon T1 is proportional to Q by T1 upon T2. So we can find out for T1 by T1 plus T2 as Q minus S by Q. So what we get is T1 divided by T1 plus T2 is Q minus S upon Q. Similarly, we can go for this triangle, which is again similar to this same triangle. 
Consider the triangle CGE and triangle ABC, ADE, they are also similar triangles. So this is CG will be equals to S and this is T2. So S by T2 is this total side is Q and the cycle is T1 plus T2. So we can solve for T2 by T1 plus T2. So we know the value of T1 upon T1 plus T2 as Q minus S by Q and we know the value of T2 upon T1 plus T2 is Q by S. So we'll add 1, 2, 3 and the total cost we'll find out in terms of Q minus S. Total cost is equation 1 plus 2 plus 3. Total cost is equation number 1 is D into CO upon Q. In equation number 2 we have 1 by 2 I. I can be written as Q minus S, Q minus S. T1 upon T1 plus T2 can be written as Q minus S by Q. So QS minus Q by Q. So 1 by 2 S, 1 by 2 S, T2 by T1 plus T2 can be written as Q by S. So this is Q by S multiplied by CS, the shortest cost. Now this equation has two variables, one is Q and S. So we'll differentiate this with first with respect to Q and then we'll solve for S. There's a correction here. This is S by Q. So there is a correction here also. S by Q. So derivative of this one is 1 by 2. S square is 2S divided by Q multiplied by CS. So if we solve this, we will get uh, CS equals to Q times if we solve this, we will get S equals to Q times CH upon CH plus CS. Now we will partial differentiate with respect to Q and then again put back to this one that will give the value of Q as economic order quantity is 2 times D into CO that is same as the original formula divided by CH almost same formula only thing that multiplied by the additional term CH multiplied by CS divided by CS and whole thing in the under root. So in the shortage we have to multiply the original term by CH into C, CS into CH divided by CS. This same as the original formula that is under root of 2 times D demand order cost, holding cost, shortage cost.